Yo, so happy Friday. It is Friday. And I am headed to... You guys know me, man. I'm, I'm like a paparazzi sometimes. My mom just said somebody big just went to... There's a restaurant downtown by the railroad tracks. It's a... Uh, rusty Dog is what it's called, and I guess... A lot of people waiting outside. There's all kinds of black holes around, and I'm assuming it could be my folks' guess. And what's real is I've been looking up stuff about former presidents and stuff. But my guess is it could be Dan Quayle. It could be. I don't know. We're gonna find out. I guess. I'm gonna drive by there real quick. It's kind of a tough place to get to. Full summer, drive by and just check it out. Then, if it's pretty big, I'm gonna get out. I, I bought my camera, my professional camera, sports mode, six frames per second. Man, it's gonna take me forever to get out of here. Traffic's horrible. Man, but yeah, I'm just gonna head down, see, see about it. I'm assuming it very well could be damn cool. That is my guess, but I doubt it. I don't know. I mean, since George H. W. Bush just, uh, just, you know, his funerals in Washington D.C. Maybe uh, they decided to take a pet stop down here. You know, on the way back to here, they live in Arizona now, Prescott. So. Cold out, winter time. Oh, yeah. And I don't think there's anything big. Nobody's down though. <laughs> no black holes. Not a lot of people waiting out. So uh, I don't know. Maybe it was a minute ago. But yeah, man, it's been a long time since Dan Quill. I, I that I've hoped that he's come to Huntington. Uh, I don't know if that who it was, but it's pretty cool living in a hometown of a vice president. Dan Quill. Pretty awesome. Yeah, he's pretty much private now, man. He don't you don't hear nothing about him. Even in Huntington here, nobody I mean it's just no big deal now. I mean he don't even really uh used to we'd hear him sneaking in town to visit. Uh, yeah, he'd sneak into town and visit. Like, family of mine lives, lived right by his mom and dad out in Tony Pool. And they said at night, like when he was vice president, at night the helicopter would fly in. Right in the middle of the night. Crazy stuff, man. And even after he was vice president, I mean, just... So he came to visit Hugo why he was vice president a few times and he snuck in. That's what he did, man. That was awesome. I mean, that was pretty cool. Dan Quill, I've always loved him and that did. I mean, I, I know a lot of people make fun of him and stuff, but my mom and my aunts went to school with them, knew him, everything, so. I don't know. It'd be cool if he came here to visit again, but 
boy, he just has, I don't think he has any interest in getting out of the sun. Because <laughs> the sun sucks. I mean, uh, the, the winter time sucks, I tell you that. Ew, ew, I wouldn't want to come back here either. <laughs>